So a lot of people, when you tell them a problem, they want to zero down to a solution. But the solution is very important. But for most people, it's, the life's problems are like, like the theorems that we had in school. They, have, they want a step-by-step -step resolution. They don't want to go to the solution once and for all. Because that step-by-step -step resolution actually makes you feel good. And then finally come back to resolving it. But having said that, there are, on the other hand, there are other people who only want to talk about problems. You only want to listen, but they don't want a resolution. But problem is if you don't have a resolution, we're not going to grow. We will wallow in our own sorrows. We feel good about feeling bad. We feel happy in our misery because we think that somebody is listening to us. Because while it's important that somebody listens to us, it's probably more important that we get over a problem. Move on. Because tomorrow is hopefully a better day. I mean, I'm not here saying that one is better than the other, but like most things, both together makes, makes it better. Somebody to listen to, somebody to resolve it. And in fact, the world is actually made of 50% people this way, 50% people the other way. In fact, psychologist Carl Jung called it the anima, anima principle is to listen and talk about it and circle it. And the animus principle is to resolve it. And these are both very, very important. So, while I might have said we spend too much time circling problems, I also must say the art is important, to circle problems is important. To understand the question is very important. And then, once you've done with that, then get on next problems resolving it.